Hey peeps, how's everyone doing today? It's your girl Eye Candy and I'm back again. Yeah, this unemployed stuff, I don't feel unemployed yet. I feel like, you know, this is the holiday weekend, so I just feel like I'm off on vacation or something. Um, but I just got back home. I went and did my uh, walk. Uh, I, I put in one mile. It's like a little over miles, like 1.4 miles, the trail that I do. And um, so I haven't built up yet to go around it more than once. Um, as I told you before, I have have an issue with my uh, right foot slash leg. Uh, it just gets really painful. So um, I went just now after my walk, I went to Walmart and I got this here little thing. It's a um, some type of foot pad. So I'm gonna try that, see how it works. And then I also bought a uh, just regular bandage to wrap my foot, you know, ace bandage to wrap my foot slash ankle if this doesn't help. So I'm uh, working through it. I do, it, I do feel better. I mean, it goes longer before it starts hurting. So uh, I'm, I know I'm building up that muscle and stamina and stuff, but yeah, it's kind of painful. But I'm on today. I got a couple of more packages. Yeah, so like, you know, we've been in this um, self-quarantine or whatever they call it, and uh, I haven't been able to go thrift shopping, but I have been doing some online shopping. Um, actually, this package here is something I ordered. Both of these I got, I ordered about three weeks ago. So this one is from Walmart. These are retail. I did ones yesterday that were online thrift. So these two are retail. One is, um, Walmart and one is a online store that I love to frequent and support and it's uh, Jinx Fashionique and if you've seen my videos my day ones y'all know I like Miss Jinx <laughs> uh, so I'm opening this bag and okay so if you guys recall, probably around December, January-ish, I ordered these pants from uh, Walmart.com. They're thin, but um, they're, you know, they're nice pants. I paid $5 for them. I think they were like $4.98 because I had a second pair. I wasn't sure on my size, so I bought a second pair. And when I tried to return them, they told me just to keep them. So uh, I think I donated them to Goodwill. So at that time, they also had the blazer, but the blazer was not on clearance and it was like 22 or something like that. And so, um, hmm, they didn't put a packing thing in there. So I guess they don't want me returning this either. Either. Anyway, it finally went on clearance and I got it. I got a large, so I hope that it fits okay. Um, the pants I ended up keep. I bought a medium and a large, and I kept the, these are the large pants. Because the medium were a little snug through the hip across. You know how you have that. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to unbutton these things. They got it buttoned all the way down. I should have left the button so you guys could see. It's a double, double, there, double buttons there. And it, it's thin also. It's a little bit thicker because it's lined. The pants are not lined. That's the only disappointment, but, uh, you know, $5, hey. And then the jacket, let me see how far it comes down. Yeah, so it comes down over the hips, so it would hide some of the, uh, anything that might be showing under the pants. But yes, yeah, double-breasted, button, button, it's got pocket, flat pocket, it's not a actual pocket, no, no actual pockets. So yeah, um, 
I'll put this away for the fall um, because of being brown. If it was a different color, I'd wear it now because it's uh, light enough for summer if I was working. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now, this is the good one. Jinx Fashion Eat. Uh, so I got hooked on this girl through one of my Facebook pages. A lady had posted um, a Michelle Obama purse that she had purchased. And I was like, where did you get that purse? And she directed me to this lady's website. And I have been in love with her since. I mean, her customer service is what keeps me, first of all, because she is off the chart with her customer service. Um, you know, you order stuff from her, and it's out, and you have it. And, um, yeah, so I got a couple of items from her. The first item... Um, this was from her clearance, and it was $9.99, I believe, somewhere around the $10. And it's this, uh, it's a little dress, and it says, money bag, money bag, money bag. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yes. Um, I love the little clothing that she picks up. It's so cute. You know, some of it is a little bit... Um, youthful for me but you know I'm a youth I'm still a youthful so this is an extra large and yeah I think it, yeah it was like ten dollars or just under ten dollars so yeah 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 be rocking that around the house uh my state is open my city is open um uh, they're like in stage one or two I believe there's Certain things you still can't do, but for the most part, the stores and stuff have reopened. And, you know, of course, you still got to keep the distance and all of that. I'm still staying in quarantine uh, other than going to the store. Um, I just don't want to rush out there and be in all of that. Okay, guys, this is a novelty. Like I said, I'm still young at heart. So this is a novelty item, but look at this. It is a Chinese takeout bag. Yes. Okay, so it snapped right there. And then it's got the, you know, the two sides there like the real bucket has. And it's stuff, but somewhere in here, I think I got a chain. Yeah, it's a chain uh, shoulder strap. So this is so adorable. So I'm not sure what 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 I'm gonna wear it with. I need a, a red outfit, don't I? Huh. So what what would you guys wear this with? Give me some ideas, some suggestions. Um uh -oh. I'm just supposed to open. Um ooh. okay, I'm not gonna try to put that chain on, right? now because it's very tight so i like that i said i believe i can fly is what it says on this tag so i guess that's uh simeli simeli i believe i can fly but yeah so what would you guys wear this with like you know um i'm thinking a red outfit or white you know those are the most obvious but yeah let me know down in the comments what would you wear it with um i love love little um novel purses like this i remember back in the um 70s i was a kid and um someone threw away a campbell's soup bag it was it was a purse and it was looked like a can of tomato uh, Campbell's tomato soup, and I got that bag, and I rocked it forever as a kid. So that was like my first novelty purse, and um, I guess I don't really have a lot of them, but um, like I have the Michelle Obama ones. The one I want are the big red lips. I'm gonna find me the big red lips, 
in a shoulder and a clutch. Find those two. And um, yeah, so that is all I have to share with you today as far as items that I have purchased. Uh, what are you guys doing today? I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go in here now and attempt to make banana bread. So, um, I went to a couple of food giveaways in the area and, um, one of the items were, uh, they gave me like four bananas. Well, I'm really picky about bananas. My bananas have to be yellow. I don't want any brown on them. And these had already kind of gotten a little brown and started, you know, getting that real sweet, uh, banana smell. So, um. I said, well, you know what? I think I have all the ingredients and I looked online and I do. And so I said, I am going to uh, make a banana bread. So that's what I'm gonna do today using some of this produce and, and vegetables and fruits that I was given. And then uh, today I had tomatoes. They gave me tomato and uh, so I went today and I got avocado and some seasoning and I'm going to make wok today and I have pretzels. They gave me pretzels, but I also bought, cause I love the, um, the, the nacho chips, tortilla chips with the lime flavor. So I did grab a bag of those too. And, um, let me see, not last night for dinner, but the night before for dinner, I had pork chops and they had gave me potatoes and I had onions. So I've had pork chops with some other potatoes and onions. I'm about to heat that up. That's going to be my brunch for today because I didn't eat before I went walking. So I'm going to have the pork chop, potato, and uh, onion. And I'll have, make this uh, bread, banana bread. I'm sorry about that light over there. I hope it's not taking away too much. Um, I'm trying to be in a different spot recording. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna make that and see how that turns out. And if it turns out good, maybe I'll come back and share it with you guys, okay? But I won't hold you much longer because I know this is the holiday weekend. You guys, anybody grilling, barbecuing? I am. Yes, uh, about three weeks ago, uh, one of the stores had uh, the big boxes of riblets for $10. And so I went and got a box of those. That was even before I was let go. And I uh, got plastic bags and I split those up into, uh, you know, portions for myself and um, put those in the freezer. So I'm going to take out a couple of those. I also got a big thing of chicken wings. So I'll take out a couple of chicken wings and uh, got some red hots. So I'm going to I'm going to grill on Monday uh, if it's not raining. I'm going to go ahead and grill uh, one day this weekend for the holiday. And yeah, my daughter may come over and then she can help me eat some of it. But, you know, I'm just not going to stop living my life because of this virus or being unemployed. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go now this time for real. Okay. Thank you so much. Day ones. Hey, I see y'all out there. Newbies. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like the content. Um, I'm, I'm a thrifter by heart. I've been on a no thrift with the virus and I honestly have so much stuff. I'm going to try to do more as far as sales before I get back into thrifting stuff. I love thrifting so much that I've gotten to where I thrift for other people and I sell it because it's my hobby. So, you know, sometimes you make money off of your hobbies, right? And now that I'm unemployed, I need to make money off of my hobby. <laughs> so, all right, peeps. Uh, see you next time, okay? Mwah.